Hey guys, this is Eden back from the nest, and today, let me move my microphone a little bit closer here. In today's episode, I'm bringing you another episode of uh, Minecraft Reloaded. There's no Jason today, he's not here. Uh, he has school things to be doing, and I do not. I, I mean, I, I assume that's what I've heard. Uh, but also, because in today's episode we are going to be building our personal house, our, our yard house here at this little isolated plateau thing that we found in the end of the last episode. So hopefully the, um, hopefully this will turn out good. The audio quality, uh, I, I'm trying to get it better. I'm gonna get some studio soundproofing and some other, uh, microphone bits and bobs to make the audio a bit better. Uh, and hopefully get the video even a bit better. I'm currently running... Two three hundred, uh, about two hundred fifty to three hundred FPS, which is pretty good. Uh, I, I if I run a texture pack, it drops down to about a hundred uh, on average, but I think that it's it should be fine the way it is. Uh, if I build and I can build cool stuff in vanilla. So in the end of the last episode, I showed off the coordinates to this base, and I was trying to keep it sort of secret. So. Ever, it'll be totally fine, and no one will know it's here, as long as Jason doesn't watch my videos. Which, I think he might, because he's actually a pretty respectable person. Uh, so... Honestly, I, I... A lot of what's gonna happen with, um... Uh, a lot of what's gonna happen with, um... The, the Dwarven base back at the pit is that it's going to be Jason's the one spearheading it because he knows what he wants out of it and I don't really have too many ideas for or understanding of what he wants. And so a lot of the dwarven base is going to be spearheaded and built by him in his style. And so I wanted to have a cool place to build a project house just that that I was in my style and uh, I had built and just a place that we could do some building videos on. Uh, because otherwise we'd just get, all the building videos we'd get would just be me building hallways according to Jason's instructions. Which is rather boring. And so, that, uh, we have this. This cool place I found and we're gonna build here. Uh, at off camera, at the end of the last episode I said that off camera I was gonna terraform all of this into grass. Uh, which I still plan to. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna probably cut. Uh, I'm gonna cut to when that's done. Uh, but uh, we have some things to do first. First, we're gonna need to get a, a whole bunch of trees. So we're gonna have to go out. Uh, cut. Out. Well, basically, I'm gonna cut ahead after we get some resources uh, and a bit more of a base going. I set this up just a couple seconds ago. I got a chest with some stuff and some tools and whatnot. So uh, I think that we're gonna get a... I'm gonna go ahead and cut ahead to when we get some resources. Uh, and after that, we will begin terraform... or, yeah, I'll do bits. Uh, I'll show bits of the terraforming just to add some content, but I won't go for a full sol uh, solid amount of time while terraforming because that will take too long. So see you then, my dudes. Alright, hi, cutting back in here, we haven't actually done anything yet. I died to a skeleton over there, so while we're here, we're gonna grab the bed. We're gonna grab my bed from here, um, and some iron to make just like a chest plate and some pants, and also to quickly showcase what the pit became, uh, this is it. Uh, we're gonna expand it, uh, even it out a bit so that it's a proper square. It looks square right now, but it's actually a bit oblong. Um, it's not It's not a good square. You can see it's a bit rectangular, so we gotta expand it just slightly uh, to fix that. And then we're gonna... My plan for this is to sort of like put um, either cobblestone or just stone or whatever in a circle pattern all the way up and then like bejewel the hell out of the top in a circle pattern and put some like pillars up and stuff and make it into a sacrifice pit uh, and we can just dump stuff into it and in the bottom we can have a mine or something who knows I mean it, the the sacrifice pit is a long-term goal uh, before that we need to um, 
Before the sacrifice pit, we need to just use it as a mine, because it, it goes straight down to bedrock, and there's caves that intertwine and connect with it, so... <clears throat> We're gonna head down there real quick. Um, we only need to go part way to grab my bed. And... Uh... Some cobblestone, actually, yeah. I'm gonna get plenty of cobblestone from the terraforming process, but this will be good for bricks. Stone bricks. Uh, I put that iron up in the upper chest, in the actual base base part. Um, so I don't I don't really know exactly what Jason's plan is. In his video, he put up a picture of Iron Forge, and he did all this cool editing, but it was on a split screen system, so there was a whole other screen uh, taking up half of the video space that was completely black, and so. Everything, everything you could see was made much smaller because of that, which was somewhat uh, annoying. But, and I, I think I pointed it out in the comments. Yeah, I pointed it out in the comment of his video. Um, so hopefully his next video won't have that, but who knows. I'm also going to make an iron sword. And these are just tools we don't already have. Or maybe we do, but I don't know. Just the basic other iron things you need to make. Uh, like this. Shield. And we're good. Alright, I have looted enough of... I have looted enough of his base. I no longer need to. So, we're gonna go ahead and cut ahead to when... Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna pause and see you back when we get to the thing. See you there. Alright, hi, we're back. I made it back to the thing. I'm gonna sleep, and I, I, um, I blocked a skeleton. I, I killed a skeleton by bouncing its own arrows back at it, and then hitting it in the, air, in the, uh, gap. There were two of them, so. That was an ordeal. Anyway, some of you might be wondering why I choose to use, um, why I specifically choose to use uh, stone tools? I I, I want to use an iron sword because it iron sword doesn't get used or break very quickly. Some of you might be wondering. I've stated this before, but I prefer to use um, stone tools. And the reasoning behind that is that for one, once I get used to using iron tools and their speed, uh, I end up overusing them. And since stone is much easier to get than iron, uh, it's easier to just always be adjusted to using stone tools and don't adjust to using iron tools because iron tools are faster and then stone tools will just seem impossibly slow once you start using iron tools and uh... that's bad because making iron pickaxes all the time is a waste and drain of resources so it's better to just use stone tools and use iron picks only for the ores that you can't mine with a normal pickaxe so yeah so I'm going to start off by cutting out all the, um, I'm going to dig out all the stone here in this front area and all the stone back there and sort of clean up the land as well and then we can, uh, I'll dig out, I'll, I'll go and get a whole bunch of dirt from somewhere with all these shovels and bring it in and fill in all the stone that I broke and gravel and whatever and then uh, I'll go and cut down a whole bunch of trees and then I'll come back in and we'll start we'll start the building see you then All right, we're back quick ch uh, progress report in uh it has been a long time i terraformed down a bunch of hills and i terraformed everything out uh i smoothed it all out made sure it's all good and stuff i got a whole area back there readied and some stuff and i looked around and whatnot so now the next step is to make a whole bunch of shovels and go get just an endless amount of dirt from off in the horizon. Uh, and we will come back. Uh, for first, we will get the we'll get a whole bunch of wood with axes. We'll clear out that entire forest. I'll do a before and after picture. Uh, you can you'll see that. And then we will get uh, just a whole bunch of dirt, and we will come in, and I will uh, I'll, I'll fill it all in with dirt. I'll fill this all in, and then we will come up to this mountain. I will encase myself in glass so that monsters can't get me, and I will record the dirt turning into grass and then speed it up like crazy so that you just see, like, 
the day-night cycle flashing overhead while the grass turns into dirt, and I think that would be a cool effect. So, yeah. See you then. We're gonna get on that. Alright. See you then. We will, we will get on that. Uh, yeah. Okay, hey, we're back. I know I said I was going to go get those trees, and then I was going to go get the uh, dirt, but real quick, uh, right as I was about to set out, I realized I would have to I would have to go across this valley every time I wanted to go out anywhere, and so I built this bridge um, off camera. It took like, uh, I don't know, 30 minutes, probably less. That's, that's an over-exaggeration. It didn't take very long. I popped it together with some... Uh, with some half slabs and some logs and cobblestone walls and it's a, a pretty good bridge. It just connects up like this, you can see it there. Just goes across, connects to this side, and we can go out and do whatever. So, works. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and Gotta head to when we get the trees and the dirt. See you then. Alright, hey, just checking in. Quick progress check here. Uh, I got some wood. Uh, not nearly enough, but my inventory's starting to fill up. So I also got some dirt. I cleared out this dirt patch here. Uh, cleared that out. And I have some trees growing in a, a uh, grid pattern, uh, which is the typical way of growing trees. Uh, for farms, you put them in the grid pattern so that they're exactly enough blocks away that they'll all grow. But they're all in a big square, so you can just break them down real easy right here. Uh, I want to expand that at some point, because, again, I just need so much wood. Uh, I, just, like, a full inventory's worth probably wouldn't be enough. It's absurd. Anyway, we're back at the house now. Uh, I'm gonna... Go ahead and cut ahead to once we filled, uh, used all of the dirt we have. We'll end up needing more, but I think we can do that in the next episode. Uh, so, I'll cut ahead to when we're done putting all the dirt in. See you then. Okay, we're back once again. Unfortunately, we did, in fact, as I assumed we would, run out of dirt. Um, <clears throat> we did run out of dirt. Uh, but we can go get more. That's, that's the beauty of it. Some stuff might get grassed over, uh, by the time we get back, which honestly isn't that bad of a thing, so, let's, uh, uh I'm gonna go ahead and cut ahead to when that's done, and then, who knows, I don't know, uh, let's, let's move on. See you then. Alright, hey guys, we're back once again. Uh, I have a little bit of dirt left that I pulled out of my chest, you can see we got... A lot more done. A lot more of it is getting filled in with grass. So we're gonna sleep real quick. I'm gonna take a bite of my donut. Cause I got a donut here on my desk. We're gonna battle these creepers. Oh, I made a, gr a, a grievous mistake. Oh, Woo. that was that was stressful. All right, uh, we're probably gonna. I'm gonna probably have to go and get more dirt. Um, but we're almost done. And after that, um, I don't know. I think I'll end this pretty much after we finish getting all the dirt in because I don't actually have a real plan for a house, and before that we're going to build a farm and stuff, so... And I, I don't have the resources to build that stuff. So it's going to take... Uh, it, it'll probably be in the next episode that we actually do any building. Today was just an episode to show you some terraforming. Uh, because normally I would just do this off camera, but... I don't know, I felt like it would be kind of interesting to see me do it on cam. Uh, I mean, not a lot of the actual terraforming was done on camera, a lot of it, uh, most of it was just, was done off camera. Uh, and I, I've just been cutting in to show you the progress levels, but, yeah. 
I think I'm going to end this one here. I've been recording for 15 minutes now, and this is probably going to get cut down a little bit, but not much. I right, well, welcome back. Welcome back from a quick cut there. Uh, we're going to end the video here, guys. This is Hayden signing out, and I will see you in the Skyhawklings. Remember to spread your wings, and of course, stay awesome. Bye.